Hi, howdy, hello, everybody. It's me, Waddle. So, do we watch that? Ah, it's a good thing you pointed that out because in three more milliseconds, I would have been toast. Besties, dear friends, we are back. We are so, so back. Time is a funny thing. It feels like it was literally just yesterday that I was diving into and learning the Wither Storm with you guys for the very first time. In plot twist, it's been a, a, a year and a half now. It's been a year and a half. Over the course of that year and a half that somehow fabricated into thin air, the Wither Storm mod, Cracker's version of it, has gotten so many gigantic upgrades, including essentially a brand new dimension. In this video right here, I talked about wanting to get back into modded this year, and there's only one way we can kick it off. Tap like and let's get cozy, because we're about to catch up and check out that new dimension. Hey, oh, but hold up, freeze. That's me. You might be wondering how I found myself in such a precarious, precautious situation. The changes with Cracker's Wither Storm mod, they begin immediately. And so back in the old days, and still in current era, if you want to kick off everything, you're looking for a house that looks like this. Sometimes. Keyword is sometimes, because sometimes, located at zero, zero, you'll find a very different looking structure. Yes, yes, that's right. There are no proper variations to the summoning chamber that kicks off your Wither Storm fight. In this version, we've got a little bit of a stone temple here. You go ahead and move in. We got that smooth, the deep slate flooring. Was that out last time we looked? I, I don't remember. It's been a long time. We move in. We find a chest with a little bit of loot. The loot in here is never going to be that good then. Oh, God. Whoa. What in the world are we looking at? After stumbling and bumbling my way around this building for a quick second, eventually, we reach the second floor. It seems that over here, I was meant to, like, climb the wall or something, but I didn't really bring the supplies necessary. Eventually, we find this shrine, the altar. It's a little bit ruined. Of course, as any good adventurer should do, we will go ahead and repair whatever kind of strange, demonic-seeming ritual was being kicked off initially. We'll go ahead and finish it. Oh, God, what have I done? <laughs> well, look, I'll tell you what I've done. Right now, we've got a timer going at the top of the screen. That's a timer to essentially get away. I have basically ruined this world forever. After a short bit of load-up time, this wither boy will begin flashing, and then explode, just like the normal one. However, unlike the normal one, this one is even more of a self-centered, narcissistic, world-eating freak. It's not good. Now, other than that building, so far up until this point, everything is like basically the same. And for even more on the basics of summoning this wither storm in and taking the fight on initially, check out part one or two after this. A lot of it's the same, a lot of it's different, but I can't be bothered to show that all off today. We already checked it out before, and I really, really want to show you the inside. It's so cool. But since the last time we checked Little Buddy out, there have been so many upgrades, both in front of the scenes and behind the scenes. One of my personal favorite little upgrades right here is this simple command, where we can essentially track the phase that the Wither Storm is currently sitting at. Slowly but surely, as the phases of this demonic being shift, the aesthetic changes as well. Also, as it starts to get a little bit bigger, it's now in phase two. It's going to take a bigger clumps of the world at a time now. Like, that's like half of a tree right there. Uh, I should definitely get the situation under control. Now, check this out. One of the first big new things that we're going to be able to experience here. Oh, he's got the tentacles. Oh, no, this is not good. That's going to be phase three now. Uh, one of the first big things that you will experience immediately, other than the new buildings, is much better AI. The Wither Storm's AI, like its whole how it exists, moves around your world, chases you like a thousand blocks or more. Yeah, this is essentially smarter and better than ever, but also a little bit more avoidable than ever, too. The Wither Storm, our friend, is a slow friend. It will kind of slowly move across your world and take blocks away. From time to time, nowadays, more so once this thing gets a little bit larger, it's actually going to get distracted with nearby things around it. Once you get, like, really far away, though, it'll get, like, less distracted and try and, like, catch up to you. But, yeah, basically, like, other things around the Wither Storm. Could be blocks, maybe other mobs, maybe structures. It'll distract this guy for a little bit of time and slow it down. So, with the help of some of these new commands, we can not only check out what phase the Wither Storm is currently at, but we can actually also advance the phase as well. You might want to do this inside of your world if you're trying to speed things up a little bit because each phase, some of them, well, actually, I should say like clusters of phases. In phase zero through three, it's kind of the beginning. Four through six is like the middle phase. And then finally, six through nine is like the ending phase. Each cluster of phase can sometimes take up to an hour or a couple hours to pass through. The only thing you could do here is really wait. Eventually, once the Wither Storm gets really big, you're going to notice the sky completely changes. The sky changing, at least like how it does specifically, is completely new and revamped. 
It's like dark and evil and demonic. The closer you get to it and the bigger this guy gets. In this phase right here, it is currently phase number six. If we go ahead and bump it up a little bit more, now we've got these tractor tracer beams. This is terrible. A very bad situation for me to be in. You see, here's the thing. Uh, if I was a little old me, just near these beams, they're kind of like scanning around, looking for me or anything constantly. Eventually, I'm going to be picked up. One of these heads is essentially pulling me into it. To get out of this whole bad situation, it's bow time. I'm going to need to have to hit one of the beams, whichever one is getting me. Before you get too close to this thing, you need to figure out which head is hitting you and hit them. <laughs> it drops you too. All right, look, what I'm getting at here is the beams. They're smarter and better than ever. No longer will multiple beams target you at once. And there's a little bit of a cool down with the beams. Logistically speaking, these are all probably great changes. But thinking about how this fight went last time, I, I, I'm still not over it. The balancing or not, there's still not enough. So I could go on and on about the weather storm and the finer details, all of the changes over the past year and a half. But I think I'd like to segue to the inside of this beast. The final thing that I'd like to talk about happens when we're in this big brained phase that reminds me of this meme. We're gonna get a thing called the Wither Symbiont to spawn. The Wither Symbiont is essentially like the Wither Storm's sweet dear son, the terrible, terrible son, like very, very bad, all around not good, but like, it's a loving son. The, the loving son will be summoned in phase five and it's essentially a mini boss battle. This mini, the, the mini boss battle has gotten far more dangerous and far more better. The texture has been retextured there too. It's so cool and the music. I, look, I don't, I, I don't know if it's copyright or what, but the music is so good now. It's so good. Long story short, the symbiont is a bad, bad guy. We can hit these fireballs and try and send them right back over to him. Clearly, I'm a professional. Very good at it. I send the fireballs of the symbiont. <clears throat> In other more peaceful news, look at this other variant of the Witherstorm starting house that you can find. The Savannah variant right here is like on stilts. It's got chests on the inside and every time that summoning thing up at the top it's pretty fire long story short we take out the symbiont we get this explosive thing that's gonna knock the wither out of the sky you're gonna walk up to the wither you're gonna think you won but oh wait there's more after that once there's more it's gonna fly back into the sky and a hole will eventually open up on its head that hole will be our next target so with that little catch up done and dusted it's time to get to what i really wanted to show you so look, since we last talked from different tools to super interesting new models to actually even things like a brand new type of beacon and a, just basically a bunch of new blocks, there is so much new to this mod. There's no way I'm going to be able to check it all out today. But there is one big thing that kind of almost draws it all, like links it all together other than the big bad bad big boy himself. So once our wither storm has grown to quite a substantial size, we're talking like, you know, eight or nine, there's this giant hole in its head. Before you even attempt to take on this next bar, you need to gear yourself up with like basically everything good and a little bit more. You get everything good and a little bit extra, then it's time to fly straight into the eye of the storm. And also we need to break Bruh. out of uh, that, that old thing. No, leave me alone. Very carefully, we need to navigate ourselves into the center hole while the hole is open. Using an elytra, I fly straight into it and all of a sudden I'm inside of the belly of the beast. Oh God, where am I? This place that I've been sent to is a dark, uh, eerie, disturbing, disgusting land. It is going to be quite literally very, very dark. Like, like I'm playing this right now in game 100% brightness and I can barely see anything. It's dark. So maybe like torches, uh, maybe even night vision. I'll pop a night vision potion in a minute. I want to give you the true effect of this place. But also inside of this place, we're going to find structures with loot inside of it. A lot of this loot is going to be brand new custom loot. Like we're talking tainted dust. There's a lot to it, but it's kind of almost like redstone dust. You can think of it that way. This thing tainted skull ceiling. Oh, ha ha. You can put a giant disturbing soul staring down into your soul. For all eternity, this poor creature staring at you. Oh, it's so sad. Inside of this, a uh, dimension. It's basically essentially a dimension. Inside of this place, we're going to find a ton of unique blocks. We're talking brand new type of wood called tainted log that is all withered, weary, and old. We're talking brand new squishy sounding block on the ground all over the place. Tainted flesh and other forms of it as well. Even a brand new type of stone, new cobblestone, and different looking water as well. Look at the water, it's like oozy, black, and dark. It doesn't hurt you to like stand in it or anything, but I feel like it totally showed. It's so cool looking. 
We also got foreign fungi and just all around disturbingness and weirdness inside of here. Ah, uh, if only I knew the guy, the fellow who created this whole mess and started this and got you uh, stuck on a wall in the first place. It's so sad. If I try and break it with my plain old pickaxe, I get nothing. But don't worry, there's a different way to get those blocks. Moving around through this structure is going to be uh, a bit of a task. If you can remember in the olden days, it was essentially on one way cut, a straight shot. The boss battle arena is still definitely inside of this thing, only now I need to navigate carefully, cautiously through this whole thing while avoiding bad mobs the entire time and also traps. The wither storm, the inside of this thing, this is like literally an entire dimension now. We're gonna be able to find cool structures, aha, that's a structure, and actually check that out, dungeon-like things inside of its spawners. The mobs that are gonna pop up inside of this thing too, they're gonna be completely unique and different. Oh, they're gonna be so bad. Come on, come on, they pop out, pop out. We'll check you out just for one second. Of course you could break the spawner too, but hey, come on, do the thing any second. Oh, do the thing, the worst one, the wither skeleton. The wither skeleton is essentially a skeleton that shoots withered arrows at me. No, please leave me alone, leave me alone. Look, I'm in netherite armor, I shouldn't care about you, but I do, I deeply care about you and I'm done with you. Look, I would never break a spawner, I'd make a farm, but no, 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 no. We're calm and cool, collected. The, that's me, the Capricorn. So moving around through here, in this part of the bowels, you can see a little bit of disturbing darkness. Upon closer inspection, it seems that our good friend here, Betsy, may have consumed an entire ancient city in its world-eating process. Nice. That's a whole loud fossil inside of this thing. I love it. It's so cool looking over here. Oh, no. I don't know if you caught that, but the vibes. The vibes are all over the place. We actually literally have skulk things inside of here. I haven't been able to find a, a shrieker in any of the structures I checked out yet, but you could definitely absolutely find deep dark related things here. Imagine a warden inside of this. What is this decked out or something? <laughs> it's so cool. I'm amazed with it. This is one of my favorite reasons that I like to like check out mods and check them out because it's like literally a Minecraft update, except it's not like an update, right? But like it also is kind of an update. I find the scaffolding is a big collection out of this structure as well. Now check this out. Breaking our survival immersion for one second here. Spectator, look at this thing. This is literally an entire giant maze and it doesn't look like it keeps going, but trust me, I promise you, it keeps going and going and going. Yeah, so scaffolding. Scaffolding is a huge help inside of this thing because it goes up and down and when it goes up and down, it's like, I mean, still hard to see, but it's not really like a clear way up and down. You kind of got to parkour. This is one of my favorite things that I found inside of this structure so far. You walk in and every time it's like ominous and large. You look at the side and you're like, hmm. I mean, it looks a little bit familiar, but I'm not too sure. We go ahead and enter the structure. We find a spawner and none of that. It's a spider one. The spiders are the least bad one. I mean, you get the whole wither effect every time, but I, I, can, I can handle it. So looking around here, it like looks a little bit familiar, but I don't know. We go ahead and move a little bit higher up and hmm, still familiar. We got some loot that gets pretty good. It checks out. I like it. It's very nice. We go ahead and keep moving up and hey, wait a second. Is this perhaps, mayhaps, maybe? Is, could it possibly be the pillager home itself? The terrible pillager outpost spoiler alert. <laughs> spoiler alert, it did it. So this goes back to the lore of the Wither Storm. While it's moving around your world and like all out consuming it, apparently it's consuming structures too. I've never seen it pick up a full outpost in, in solid, but it will definitely consume the structures and put it inside of its big bad belly for you to just check out and explore, immerse yourself in in a different way. It's so cool. I could literally spend an entire video just wandering around this thing, checking out the structures and trying to see what I could find. This thing is so cool and it seems to have like a little bit of randomized generation as well. Meaning like everyone that I find, it's got similar pieces like this whole like TNT setup, weird altar thing with the spawner, the bone thing, but it's like a different layout every time. Now moving around in here, I think this is like the cave part of the bowels. It's like big and open. Good news, it doesn't seem like mobs spawn in here other than the spawners themselves. So you don't really technically like have to light it up or anything like that. Eventually, you might see like a glowing room. That's the familiar boss battle arena. I don't really want to do the boss battle today, so I'm not gonna, but check this out. Over here now in the boss battle, we've got multiple entrances. Now, great news, you can actually cut through the boss arena in survival. As long as you don't touch that command block, you're gonna be good to go. You could keep like living in here, farming in here, exploring in here. It's just all a building in here if you want to. Now, this next thing that I'm gonna do here, admittedly, it does kind of ruin the immersion a little bit, but for the sake of being able to see, we'll go ahead and roll it. Running around in here in survival with a little bit of night vision, we can see so much more clearly. Look at this. You move through zones with like almost like a, a leaf archway with a spider spawner inside of it. And then almost like a forest over here. All over the place, we have these lost souls. Ceiling, wall, floor, everything. It's just like the sad souls give this whole like feeling of despair and like hopelessness inside of the bowels. 
Yo, but what's that? You consider yourself an empath and you are concerned for the villagers. What about poor Balded, Big Nose Friend himself? Perhaps could we find a Minecraft village with maybe sickened villagers inside of Witherstorm itself? Well, my friend, you're in for a treat because over in this part of the Wither Bowels over here, we have actually located ourselves a village. Our telltale sign now is going to be, of course, sickened villagers that uh, hate me and will charge at me really, really quickly. They come from spawners. It's not good. Sickened villager, go away. We'll talk more about Mal in like part four. Oh, and they come in baby version too so that's all out amazing okay well, this is a new one i learn something new every day truly i hate it These, go away leave me alone i'm in creative stop chasing anyways telltale sign that you found a village is familiar looking pieces of a structure except this time like a little bit twisted we've got a fence and we've got a light that's almost like the you know like the local village lamp we move in we got a bell that like really stands out it kind of gives it away we've got a village long lost souls from a different lifetime bones piled in the ground and actually what is this a different door too yeah there's so many building blocks it's so cool we go ahead and move inside of it and it's actually a proper villager house there's not like much to it just like in normal little minecraft but a proper house is a proper house the building blocks that this mod adds are so cool. That's definitely on the to-do list for part four, as well as like these different mobs as well. There's a ton of new mobs since we last checked it out. We also got Wither Rose planter boxes, which is pretty cool, and a little bit of dirt up top. Moving around inside of this thing, the village is like pretty sizable here. It's like in a straight line in a hallway, but yeah, you get like different familiar looking buildings with the, oh yes, what's that? Definitely loot here too. Never mind the logistics of this whole soul inside of the chest, though. Hey, don't think about it too much. Inside of a uh, different world, this is some other footage that I had gotten. I found this other interesting structure with a little bit of redstone clock contraption going on. I don't really know what there was to it other than the fact that it's a redstone clock contraption. It was pretty cool. Another really cool one that I found is this one right here. We walk up to it and immediately there's a whole vibe shift. It looks like cobblestone and a stone maybe, and that's because it is. In this part of the Wither Bowels, we're essentially moving into a proper cave system. A proper cave system with what's that? Oh, a mine shaft all over the place. This is so cool. I get so excited when I find these cool things. When I found this thing the first time, it was like amazing looking. We're running around through this thing. The souls on the walls just like makes me want it in vanilla Minecraft. It's like terribly gruesome as it is. But moving around, we get like big mineshaft things cutting up above us and like a lower part of the system if i were to say climb up to the big mineshaft things and move around it's like a little bit of a maze it doesn't go like as expansive as you might like hopefully hope for something like that but definitely a maze that cuts out into the bowels itself look all in all i could do this all day long i need to do this on a stream or something i could explore the bowels for hours and hours in different worlds and you know just see the different structures unfortunately not every single structure is going to show up in every world so all in all i guess that means there's a reason to destroy multiple worlds with this demonic terrible being itself this beautiful terrible being so in wither storm mod part four what would you like to see me focus on the blocks and the mobs maybe more of the wither storm and the improvements around that thing or even more bowels call it down below thank you all so much for checking out a, i guess this episode of the wither storm mod as always, the mod link will be linked down in the description below. Absolutely check this out. The patron gang, a big thank you. Archangel, Ground Crazy Mane, Medical Boomstick, Swoopy Louvers, Zuno Porkville, W Tanner B, and Austin V. And for the occasional extra video and world download, tap join for more. Until next time, it's been me, Waddles. Wither Storm, forever.